And now we are here with uh, Dan Martin and Eric Martin. Hmm. Brothers? Oh, no. Cousins? <laughs> Is this your son? He's my son. How long has he been working with you on this? Well, since he was about three. Good age. You remember those days? Uh, yeah, holding a wrench on the other side, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we need to. Oh, this small. Oh, okay. Let's uh, talk about this classic bird here. What have we got? Well, it's a P 51 Mustang, World War II fighter. Uh, I've had it since 1974, and uh, it came out of El Salvador. It was a World War II uh, veteran. It was in the Swedish Air Force. It was in Nicaraguan Air Force and El Salvadorian Air Force. And I bought it in El Salvador when it was in pieces in 1974, and we got it flying in 1978. Dad let you fly this thing? Uh, no, not this one. Uh, he's, ah. he's not letting the keys off that easy. I see. So what uh, do you fly? Uh, anything I can get my hands on. <laughs> He lets you, uh, hold on a second, hey, good to see you too, okay, but he lets you uh, work on it, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he's got me my check out in a T6, which was the trainer that they checked out in before this. I've flown the Stearman, I've flown uh, Cessnas and Tail Draggers, Satabrias, but no, not this one, no. Not no, yet. It, that's a bone of contention, actually, you know. That's... Now, do you have a plane? Uh, no, I don't have one. I consider this one kind of uh, part of When it's on the ground, it's yours. No, when it's in the air. I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, much like he has. Um, so, you know, it's a kind of pride and ownership thing. And uh, what are we going to be doing in this tomorrow? Well, uh, I've been coming up to the Father's Day fly-in probably, for, gosh, I can't, probably five, six, seven years, mm -hmm. maybe even longer. And we always uh, come up on Friday and enjoy uh, uh, seeing everybody that we haven't seen in a while and having a hamburger and then... We'll get here in the morning and uh, maybe go to the pancake breakfast, and and then uh, we start flying uh, um, about 10 in the morning, 10 or 11. And we'll do some flybys, and, and a lot of times if there's uh, some other Mustangs here, we'll do some formation flying, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Well, thank you both for your time, and thanks for bringing the plane, and hope you have a good time this weekend. Our pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Here's a, a plane, as you can tell, it's very shiny and very pretty, because this plane, take a shot of it here, belongs to, the, to GQ magazine. This is the most stylish plane in the world. It's been on the cover of GQ many times, and you see it's got an ad on the side that says, you, GQ, you know, because you're the person that GQ is after. So, uh, it's pretty, it's lovely, it's on the cover, and it's got a dog on the tail. Really, who could ask for more? Not all the stories here are happy stories. This plane, as you can see, had a, an accident. Uh, it was traveling about 70, 80 miles an hour, landing on an aircraft carrier, and ran into a bulkhead. See, it used to be about eight feet longer than that. It just kind of got all smooshed up. So this is the, uh, this is the Grumman Smush. They liked the design so much that they went on and built others like it. This is the original one. They took out some of the, the wrinkles, some of the dents, but uh, it is, it's the, uh, the Grumman Schmush. So if you ever see one of these flying, which is very entertaining because they fly kind of like, <laughs> like that, uh, you'll know what it is and, and how it came to be.